In this video, we are going to see the function block arithmetic. Let's head over to the OpenPLC editor. Okay, we are here. First, I will create the new project and I will add a new folder. giving the name of the folder as arithmetic second I will select the folder okay there's some error I will try it again I will create a new folder and I will select the folder then I will keep the first two of them as it is then I will change the language as the diagram and I will press OK And after I will drag this down and I will add two power rails one on the left side and another one on the right side First of all, I will create variables here. I will create M0, which is going to be our Boolean, then M1, M2, and I will change the name of M2 as Coil first and coil second, okay. Then I would like to add a function block which is the pulse timer. Then I will increase size. Let me increase the size of the pins too. I will keep them to the limit which is 50 so I'll press OK then I will add the coil which is like our coil first and I will adjust the block size I'll join these Like these pins and I'm going to need the M0 adjust the block size and I will join these pins I will copy and paste the M0 We modify it as coil 2 and also the contact will be normally closed so I will modify it okay then going to need the variable for the preset time I will say t hash
500 milliseconds I will press OK and after I will just copy and paste the M naught I will add or just copy and paste the coil second then modify it as coil first up until, up until now you might have gotten the idea what I am about to do here I will copy and paste the function block then I will add the coil address it as coil scanned adjust the size and join or connect these pins here At last, I will copy and paste the variable. Okay, I guess this is our first thing. So, for the second thing, I'm going to need, I'm sorry, I'm going to need the block from the arithmetic let's take subtraction This will be our iron first, iron second, and output. At last, I will use lapsed time. Okay, after this, I would like to add another function block from the standard function blocks which is count up I would like to add a coil which is out zero Join these pins from the both sides. The contacts, this will be our coil first. Then I'm going to need the preset value and the count value. For that, I will go to the variable and I will use the PV and join these. Then I will add another variable which is CV. I will class it as output 
and join these. For the subtraction, for iron first, I'm going to use the count value. And iron 2 will be as it is. So I will join the pins 2 here. At last, I will use the out. I will join these. Okay. I guess we are good to go and we will keep the reset as it is for now and I will start the simulation. The simulation is complete. Let me show you the simulation now. As you can see, the preset value is 500 and the value of the iron first is 800 and the count value is 0. If you subtract 800 from 0, I guess it will be 800. Now, let me just force through to the memory bit 0 and the count value is counting. As you can see, the value of the out, which is the total value from iron first minus count value. I like pause it for a moment here. As you can see, the iron first is 800 and the count value is 252. If you subtract this value from 800, it will be 54A, which is like the value or the output value. Now this was our second function block of the arithmetic which is subtraction. By this our video ends here. Thank you for watching.